getting in the hospital and she needs her granddaughters to help her get the restaurant back. So that's what the story, it just kind of goes through that and um, both of the daughter, both of the sisters, they have like other kind of like side stories going on. One of the sisters, she's a single mom and um, her fiance, the child's dad, was killed in a car accident. He died in a car accident. And so she's dealing with that and, and, and she she has this talent for um, doing pastries and cupcakes and stuff. So she brings that to the table, but she's dealing with the death of him and she doesn't have custody or she's not like actively raising her daughter. The daughter's being raised by the fiance's mother. And so she's trying to get her daughter back and then she has to go over here and talk, save the grandma's restaurant. And just the history of the restaurant and how it came to be, because it's like the restaurant has been in the family for a lot of generations. <clears throat> I think like two or three, two or three generations. And so they're, they're having to turn on how to save it. And then the other one, she going through a divorce and nobody knows it. And so she bringing it to the table. And at the, at the end of the day, you know, everything's wrapped up in that table. And I loved it. It was beautiful. It was beautiful the way Rhonda McKnight tied this book together. I recommend this book for everybody. I'm actually trying to get my mom to read the next book. She's waiting for the audio version. The next book that we read in July is. Oh, see, that's why I can't trust myself. So the good ones are taken. I finished that one on July the, the 11th as well. So I need to adjust. Because I probably was like picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down. So I'll just keep it up with because I don't, I don't guess it matters. The next book that we got into we took a little reading from it. We had to because we only read six books. Uh, we did read all fours. I think I'm going to carry that one over because I really want to read that. My coworker, she keeps kind of hinting at the read the book yet. Did you read the book yet? Did you read the book yet? So it's like, I'm going to get that for you. It's got too much in it. Like, where is the tea? It needs some sugar and be lemonade. That's how strong the lemon is in the um, tea. <clears throat> so, I guess we didn't read anything. Friday, Saturday. But I think the next book that I read is Do What God Mother Says. This, this book was just published June 11th. And I've been seeing it everywhere. And I was excited that I was able to actually get it from my library. Oh, I did. Okay, so the next book is Do What God Mother Says. What's in here? Let me see. So I finished that. I started that on the 12th, and I finished it. I'm updating my reading journal. As you guys can see. updating it with the books that I read in July. So we finished this on another 